Good afternoon. It is Saturday, the 6th of January. We just came back off the break. Everyone had some nice time off. I hope they were uh, able to recharge and reflect. I'm going to speak briefly today about some events that are coming on campus this much. I've, I've talked about them a little bit, but I wanted to kind of give you a bigger idea of some of the things that are going on and more. If you read in the community report, I wrote a lengthy uh, article on kind of return from the break. You know, we're back. Now what? Uh, two of the things that I talk about are being persistent and being humble. Uh, and as you read that, I want you to kind of think about the journey we've been on uh, since last year and our growth as a school. So kind of a real public recognition of that this month are three events that we have on campus. On the 9th, uh, next week, Lead Louisville, which is a big group of movers and shakers in the city of Louisville, are going to be on campus. They chose us to host their meeting because of the innovative things that we're doing and the growth we've had as a school. They, they, they asked to come to us, which is pretty awesome. And then on the uh, 30th, we're going to host the Academy uh, of Louisville Signing Day. You know that we joined the Academy model on the high school side, made our uh, high school into four different academies. Eleven other schools did as well. And they're going to sign with business partners. And our district, uh, Jefferson County, chose us to host that day. Uh, which is really awesome because of the work that we've done on our campus and the innovative things that we're doing. There's going to be some dignitaries there. Our mayor is going to be there. Our governor is supposed to be there. Uh, Secretary of Workforce Development, a lot of other folks. So, you know, that's one of those things as a campus that we kind of can look at and smile about and say, yeah, look at more. We're getting some recognition. And then on the 21st to the 24th, we have our uh, Kentucky Department of Education audit. Uh, the last time we had our audit, they gave us six improvement priorities and they recommended the removal of the principal. So this time we hope that we don't have that happen. I, uh, I'd like to keep my job. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, when they come, they will be here for three days. We'll do a presentation to them on that Sunday night on the 21st. And we'll basically talk about the growth that our school has had and the things that we have put in place and some of the successes that our students have had, um, which is going to be a really cool opportunity for us to showcase the school. Um, so I referenced earlier the, the community report where I talk about persistent and humble. And um, my choice of these two words for returning from break um, why I chose those. One, because we must be persistent and relentless in our pursuit of the school that we want to become, both from the student level, the staff level, the principal level, the community level, the parent level, all of these levels, we must be persistent in, in understanding that we can be an amazing school. And we have done so much to get there as a school. I'm very proud of our school on, on the journey that we've, we've come thus far. And the humble portion, no one likes a braggart. So, we, we have these opportunities to showcase our school, we smile, we give ourselves a little pat on the back, but we move forward to the next one because we want the next opportunity to showcase the awesomeness of our kids. We want the next opportunity for success because when success becomes a habit, you, you, don't, you don't have to brag about it because you know there's going to be another one that comes down the pike. Um, and we're getting to the point as a school that success is becoming a habit for our students, and that's what we want. So... Proud of you all. Happy to be back. We have uh, about 89 days left in the school year, so we're halfway through. Uh, that's 89 days of excellent learning uh, still to come. And now you know more.